Hi, I'm Kim Clements, and today we're going to be changing UV lamps and quartz leaves in an Aquafine CSL4R. This particular model happens to be a double-ended lamp unit. You'll want to make sure the power is turned off to your unit, depressurize your system, and drain your UV unit. You'll then want to start by removing the screws that will allow you to remove the cover off of the treatment chamber. This will expose the end plate. You'll repeat this for the other end. We'll then start by removing the retainer cap off of the end of the compression nut. This will expose your lamp socket. Simply pull the lamp socket off of the end of the lamp. Repeat this for the opposing end. Remove the retainer cap and then pull the lamp socket. You can now remove your lamp out of the quartz sleeve. Repeat this for all of the lamps. lamps removed, we are now ready to remove the quartz sleeve. Simply unscrew the compression nut and o-ring assembly. And repeat this for the opposing end. You can now slide the quartz sleeve out of the treatment chamber. Repeat this procedure for each of the quartz sleeves. Now that we have um, removed all of the quartz sleeves, we are ready to reinstall new quartz sleeves. For this portion, you will want to wear gloves to prevent contamination of the UV quartz sleeves or lamps. Visually inspect each sleeve for damage or cracks and never install a damaged sleeve. Slide the sleeve through the threaded nipple on the end plate, through the treatment chamber, to the opposing end, and out that threaded nipple. You're now ready to install your O-ring into your compression nut all the way to the bottom beyond the threads. You can now push the quartz sleeve onto the compression nut this may take some twisting and pushing. Deionized water may be used as a lubricant. You can now screw the compression nut onto the end of the threaded nipple. And about a half a turn after the O-ring touches the threads. You'll repeat this for the opposite end. Repeat this procedure for each of the quartz sleeves. With all the quartz sleeves now in place, we are ready to repressurize the system and slowly fill the treatment chamber with water. You'll test your compression nut assembly for any leaks. If there's any leaks found, depressurize the system and tighten any compression nut assembly. Retest until there are no leaks found. 
We are now ready to install our UV lamp. Slide the lamp through the compression nut and into the sleeve. Push it in about two to three inches until you can grab the other end with your right hand. You can now install the lamp socket and verify the number on the wire to the number on the end plate. Slide the rubber boot over the end of the lamp. Make sure that none of the rubber portion is folded under during this process. And never install a lamp with the opposing retainer cap in place. Repeat this procedure for the other end. You can now slide the slotted retainer cap over the wire and thread it onto the compression nut. And repeat this for the opposing end. Follow this procedure for each of the lamps. Again, verify the number on the wire to the number on the end plate. When you slide the rubber lamp boot on, you should feel a slight bottomed out connection. This indicates, this indicates a proper connection. to energizing your ballast and lamps, you want to make sure that there aren't any leaks by proper installation of the assemblies. You are now ready to replace the covers onto the end of the treatment chamber.